In the coming lectures, we are going to talk about our first strongly connected components related approach, the so-called Koshara-Yuz algorithm. So the Koshara-Yuz algorithm is able to find the strongly connected components in a directed graph. So where we have directed edges in the given graph. And this is what we have been talking about in a previous lecture, that we have to use a stack for a depth-first traversal because we are going to do two depth-first searches. First of all, we need the topological ordering. So the first depth-first search is going to find the topological ordering. And then we have to make another depth-first search. And of course, during the algorithm, we have to track whether we have visited the given vertices or not. So what do we have to do? First of all, we have to do a depth first search in order to calculate the topological ordering in the given graph. Then we have to transpose the original graph and this is how we will get the G prime graph. So this is the transposed graph. And finally, we have to consider all the vertices in topological order. So this is why we have calculated the topological order in order to construct the strongly connected components. So first of all, how do we get the transposed graph? We just have to consider all the edges and we have to revert them. So as far as the original graph is concerned, for example, vertex A is connected to vertex C, vertex C is connected to vertex F and vertex E. And as far as the transpose graph is concerned, the edges have been reverted as you can see. Vertex A is pointing to vertex F in the transposed graph. Vertex C is pointing to vertex A, vertex E is pointing to vertex F and vertex C. So basically this is how we can calculate the transpose of a given graph, what's going to be the running time complexity. Of course it has ordo E linear running time complexity, we just have to consider all the edges one by one. So this is how we can calculate the transpose of a given graph, which is crucial during Koshara-Yuz algorithm. And let's take a look at how Koshara-Yuz algorithm works exactly. We are going to need a stack abstract data type. We are going to do a topological ordering. So the first depth first search is going to populate the stack abstract data type. And then we are going to pop the items from the stack. And this is how we construct the strongly connected component. So we can start at any vertex we prefer. For example, just for demonstration purposes, I am going to start with vertex one. What do we have to do? We have to do a standard depth first search. And basically we have already considered topological ordering. So we are going to do a standard topological ordering. So we have started with vertex one. We have to consider all the children of vertex one. In this case, we have vertex two as the only child. So we can consider vertex 2. Vertex 2 has three children, so we consider, for example, vertex 3, but of course we can consider any children we want. Okay, vertex 3 has two children, vertex 4 and vertex 7. For example, we consider vertex 4, then we consider vertex 8, then 7, then 6. Here we can come to the conclusion that vertex 6 has a single child vertex 7, but of course we have already considered vertex 7, so we set vertex 6 to be visited and this is the first item we push onto the stack abstract data type. So whenever we visit a given vertex, which means that we consider that given vertex with all of its children, this is when we consider that vertex to be visited. And this is when we push that given vertex onto the stack abstract data type. And basically, this is exactly what we have done when dealing with topological ordering. Then we have to backtrack to the previous vertex in the depth first search, which is vertex 7. Of course, we have have already considered all the children of vertex 7, so we consider it to be visited and we push it onto the stack. We keep backtracking. As far as vertex 8 is concerned, we have considered all of its children, so we set it to be visited and push it onto the stack. We backtrack to vertex 4. We have already considered vertex 3 and vertex 8, so these are the children of vertex 4. So we set it to be visited and push it onto the stack. Then we do the same with vertex 3. 
After Vertex 3, we backtrack to Vertex 2. What about the children of Vertex 2? We have already visited Vertex 3, we have already visited Vertex 6, but we haven't visited Vertex 5, so we keep going with that first search and we visit Vertex 5. What about Vertex 5? We have to consider all of its children, but we have already considered Vertex 1, we have already considered Vertex 6, so we set it to be visited and push it onto the stack. Then we backtrack to the previous Vertex, which is Vertex 2 in the depth first order, and because we have already considered all the children of Vertex 2, we set it to be visited and push it onto the stack. Then we backtrack to Vertex 1, and because we have considered all the children of Vertex 1, we set it to be visited and push it onto the stack. So basically this is the topological order, this is exactly what we have been talking about in one of the previous chapters. And after that what do we have to do? We have to generate the transpose of the original graph, so we have to revert every single edge, and then we have to pop the items one by one from the stack abstract data type, and we have to do the second deck first search. So the first item, as far as the stack is concerned, is vertex 1. So we start with vertex 1, and we do a standard depth first search, and basically every vertex we can reach with the help of the depth first search in the transposed graph, those vertices will form a single strongly connected component. So we can visit vertex 5, we can visit vertex 2 and these are the vertices we can visit so it is going to form the first strongly connected component. Okay then let's keep popping the items from the stack. Of course we have already visited vertex 2 so we keep going, we have already visited vertex 5 so we keep going. What about vertex 3? We start with vertex 3 and we do a standard depth first search. So we visit vertex 4, we do a standard depth first search vertex 8 and then we can come to the conclusion that these are the vertices we can visit which means that these vertices form the second strongly connected component. Okay, then we keep going and popping the item from the stack. Of course, we have already visited vertex 4, we have already visited vertex 8, what about vertex 7? Let's start with vertex 7 and let's do a standard depth first search. We keep visiting all of its children. Of course, we are not able to visit vertex 3 because we have already considered vertex 3. We are not able to visit vertex 8 because we have already considered vertex 8, so we have no other option but to visit vertex 6. Of course we have visited all of its children, 7, 2 and 5, so we can come to the conclusion that 6 and 7 form the third strongly connected component. Then we keep going because the stack is not empty, so we pop vertex 6, and of course we have already visited vertex 6, and the stack becomes empty, so this is the end of the Koshara use algorithm. We have managed to find the three strongly connected clusters with the help of two independent depth first searches. Okay, so this is what we are going to implement in the next lecture. Thanks for watching.